Okay, today we're using Blender 2.78A. And uh, we're going to use, in this video, the internal renderer to make glowing objects. And then in the next video, we'll use the cycles renderer to do basically the same thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have our cube here. Let's go ahead and grab that uh, GZ1 to move it up so it's flat on the ground there. Space, plane, I'm gonna add in a plane, and I'm gonna S to scale it, one, zero, enter to scale it 10. So this is what our scene looks like right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete our light object, hit F12, and you can see what it looks like now. I'm also going to change our background to black. And so what I did there, I guess I'm going kind of fast. World view, horizon, set it to black. So we've removed our light and we re made our sky black. So there, when we render, everything's black because there's no light in the scene. But that's okay because our cube is going to become our light source. We're going to go here to our materials. We're going to choose what color do we want to make it. And we'll say, in this case, we'll go red, a red glow, like a nice neon. We're going to set intensity to one and specularity to zero. And then emit, this is how bright it's going to glow. And the brighter it glows, the less detail you will see in the object itself. I'm going to set this to two. Okay, and as you can see in our, our example up here, I can go like this with the square or the monkey. You can see it looks like a flat object at this point. So I'm going to hit F12 and you can see that it looks like a flat red shape, but it's not emitting light onto anything else. Well, that's because we need to go into our back into our world panel here and down here, we're going to choose indirect light and then click this under gather approximate, and we're going to turn this up just a couple, two or three passes, F12, and there we have a glow. And so then we can, you know, take, uh, let's go ahead and just, whoops, Shift D to clone that, I'll put that there. So now we have two glowing boxes, and uh, I'm going to take this second one, I'm going to create a new material, and I'll make it blue. We'll just make it uh, 100% blue. There we go. F12. And now we got our blue light and our red light. And in the middle we have purple. And of course if we were to add a green light where they overlap, we'll actually get a clear white light, uh, which would see our whatever color. Now our, our plane doesn't have any material, so it's just kind of a white color. Uh, but that is how you make glowing objects. And you know, we could pick kind of a dark blue there. We can pick a lighter blue, probably might look a little better. Looks more like a light. So this is just one way, but a very simple way, very quick way to get glowing objects, light emitting objects in the internal Blender renderer. In the next video, we're gonna look at doing the same thing in cycles. Now I do wanna note here that uh, when I hit F12 to render this, very simple scene, two cubes, both emitting light. It's taking just under a second to render that, and that's at half resolution. So let's go full 1080p, F12, takes a little bit longer, two and a half, a little over two and a half seconds, 2.69 seconds. So uh, just keep that in mind because this looks pretty good and when we go into cycles, it might look a little better right off the bat, uh, but it will increase our time a little bit, which may not make a big difference when you're rendering one image, but if you're doing a video at 30 frames a second, can make a big difference. So I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. That helps me out a lot. And if you have a little bit of extra dough, think about supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link in the description there. Even a dollar a month is much appreciated. And to search through all my videos and uh, for this channel and my other channels, go to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description. As always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.